Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is first missing positive. In this question, we are given an unsorted array which contains integers called nums. And our task is to return the smallest positive integer that is not present inside the input nums. So the smallest positive integer starts from 1. And our constraints to solve this question is that we have to implement an algorithm which runs in O of n time. So the time complexity should be big O of n and uses constant auxiliary space. That is, space complexity should be O of 1. So this is our task. So I've taken the second example here. Let's see how we can solve this question. So in this question, as you can see, we have to find the smallest positive number. And what is the smallest positive number? We know it is 1. And what can be the smallest positive number for an array of size n? It can be anywhere between 1 through n. So for this example, n is the length of the array. Length of the array is 4. So let's draw an array. So in this, what are the smallest positive numbers? It will be within the range 1 through n, right? So it will be 1. 2, 3, 4. So this is a positive array with the range 1 through n. And if the smallest positive is not one of these numbers, it will be n plus 1, so 5. For this question, the answer will be between the range 1 and 5. So let's keep this positive array inside and our task is to transform this input array into this by swapping the elements. So we start with the starting element. And here as you can see, so we start from the beginning and we'll go until the end. So we start with the first number. The first number is 3. So here in the output, you can see we have to transform it into a positive array starting from 1 through n. So 3 is present at the second index position. So every integer, so nums of i, correct index position is at index. So this is the index where it should be present at. So nums of i is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. So 3 has to be present at this index. So we swap the elements present in these two indexes. So we have swapped minus 1 and 3. So we use the helper function to swap these elements. And now we haven't checked this particular element, right? So until we find a place, so we start with the same element again. Now the element is minus 1. So put it in this formula. Its actual index position should be minus 1, minus 1 is equal to minus 2. So minus 1 should actually present at, so this is minus 1 index position. This is minus 2 index position. So here 0 will be, here minus 1 will be. And minus 1 is at minus 2 index position. So minus 2 should be present at this index position, right? At minus 2. But there is no element here. So that is the check we have to place. If nums of i is a positive number, if it is greater than 0, so here as you can see, if it is greater than 0 and if it is less than or equal to n. So it is not satisfying this condition. Now we move forward. Now we are at 4. So place it inside this formula. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So 4 should be at third index position. So we swap the element here and this element will come here. Now we haven't processed this element, so put that element here. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So 1 should actually be present at 0th index position, right? So we swap those elements. So 1 goes here and whatever is present here will come here. Now again, since we swapped, we still have to process this element. Put that inside this formula, it is minus 1. So now it will become minus 2. So again, this has to go to minus 2 index position. So it is not within this range. We can't swap it. Since we can't swap, now we go to the next element. The next element is 3. So check if 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. It should be present at the second index. It is already present at the second index, so we can't swap. So it is at its right index position, so we move forward. Now the element is 4. Check its correct index position. It should be present at 4 minus 1. That is third index. It is already present at its third index. So we can't swap it, so we move further. Now we reach the end of the array, so we end the iteration. And now we have sorted the original array in its final form. So this is cycling sort, so it will take time complexity of O of n. Now you see there is similarity between these two arrays. We have to check the elements which are not in its place. So let's start comparing. So we iterate through the array again from left to right. We check if at 0th index position we have i plus 1 element. So i will start from 0 until n. We check if element at i, if nums of i is having i plus 1th element. Yes, i plus 1 is 1, so this is matching. Now move forward. Now we are at this element. We take this element, i is equal to 1, the element should be i plus 1, i is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so the element should be 2, check if it is 2, no it is not 2, it has to be 2, it is minus 1, both are not matching, so this is our output, so 2 will be returned as our output, so 2 is the expected output here. So do a dry run for this test case and this test case, you will understand how the code is working. Now let's take a look at the code, so here we are starting by finding the length of the input array nums, n is equal to nums.length. I will start at the 0th index and be using a while loop until i reaches the end. Since we are using the input array nums to sort the 
original array only we are just using o of one space that is auxiliary space we are not using any extra space we are just utilizing the input array to swap the element so first we are calculating the correct index where the nums of i should be present at like i showed you nums of i should be present at i minus 1 the correct index for every element is nums of i minus 1 so that will be the current index so that will be the correct index now we are checking if the current element is a positive number starting from 1 so nums of i is greater than 0 and if it is less than or equal to n then it is within the range right it is fitting in the positive array which we showed and we also have to check if that correct element is already present in its correct uh, position if one of these conditions fail then we swap the element so we are writing a helper function here which swaps two elements so we are parsing the original nums the current value of i and the correct index we're using a temp variable we're swapping the two array elements and that swap method is being called here and it will swap and here as you can see after swapping we still have to use the current i value you are not incrementing it you're only incrementing it when you're not swapping the element so that is why in the else block you're putting i plus plus so once the array is sorted and i reach the end we have your sorted array and you have to compare the elements now again you're starting from the zeroth index until the end and you're checking if the current element at i is not equal to i plus 1 if it is not equal to i plus 1 then we have to return that element like here in this case after sorting you have the array and the index positions are 0 1 2 and 3 and here as you can see this is the position where the element is not in its actual position here the value should be 2 but here it is minus 1 so you have to return this value i plus 1 so which is 2 so 2 will be returned as the output so in this case if you see the array will be 0 1 and 2 and once you sort the elements are present in its original array and nothing will be returned here for this example so outside you will return the value 3 because 3 is the smallest positive number so 3 will be returned as the output that is why you are returning here n plus 1 so the time complexity of this approach is o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 where n is the length of the nums array that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video